places. Pretty funny. I could actually probably get a decent amount of viewers playing like Fallout 4 or Skyrim. Just because of my personality, like I'm able to talk well. And a lot of people on this website can't talk so well, sadly. Ten whole viewers, yeah, that would be nutty. So, okay, I was on IRL recently, and uh, I was watching this girl because I was like, what is she doing? Like, the name of her stream, the stream title was stupid. She was in, like, this pink-ass room on the thumbnail. I was like, what What am I going to be watching when I open this? I literally opened the stream. It's her first ever stream, and she has 20 viewers. She's not even that attractive. She's literally sitting there, and she's being, like, really boring in terms of talking. And, like, I it really confuses me. Like, it's really, really weird. I was telling my friend earlier, I was like, okay, so the way Twitch.tv works is that the biggest streamers are all men. Okay, that makes sense, right? Pretty much all of the... The biggest of the big streamers are men. Lyric, um, Summit 1G, who else? A random League player A, B, C, D, E. Random CSGO player A, B, C, D, E. But the easiest way to get viewers quickly is to be a woman. No woman will ever be the biggest streamer on Twitch. I, I will predict that right now. That will never happen. But, but... A woman that's half as good as a man playing a video game that's more attractive just because, you know, she's a woman. There's more men on the internet. There's more men watching people play video games. She's going to get a really big audience just because, you know, she's attractive. I mean, that's, you know, that's basic fucking knowledge, right? I mean, obviously. But I, I, I guess the percentages, I said, I think that... 10% of this website's streamers are girls. And 70% of them can get big real quick. Because that 70% is like what a man would consider attractive enough to get viewers, right? 